All right, if you're headed to the Central Mountains to do some camping over the holiday weekend, remember Valley County, uh, McCall right here is sitting at 5,000 feet. That's way up in elevation. When it rains, it gets cold, and that's what's going to happen this weekend. And so this was the view today. It was beautiful. Temperatures are comfortable, but look at this extended forecast. Gets even warmer tomorrow. 60s today, 70 tomorrow, mid-70s on Thursday. So we really see that temperature coming up, but then thunderstorms could come in even overnight Thursday night, and then a cold front comes through with that, and that'll drop the temperature all the way to 59 on Friday with a chance for some showers and thunderstorms popping up. So periodic uh, moisture and then Friday night into Saturday morning the rain comes in and if you're camping in a tent it's going to be wet Saturday morning. It's going to be wet on Sunday morning, wet and cold. Low temperatures by Sunday morning down to 38 and temperatures most of the weekend at 5,000 feet, we'll be running in the 40s. So that's how chilly it's going to be after being so mild. So keep it in mind uh, in the Central Mountains, the West Central Mountains. I'm not saying don't go camping. Enjoy it. It's such a beautiful area. If you're prepared for it, you're going to love it. Get outside. Uh, the smells coming in when the rain falls. It's wonderful. Everything's green and blossoming in Valley County, but it's going to be a little on the wet side. If you're looking for drier weather, you head to the south. Bruno Dunes is a general dry area, more deserty, breezy. That's why the dunes are here. And so breezy conditions likely on Sunday and Monday. Mildest temperature Saturday 68, but if we're going to get rain showers, it'll be Saturday morning. I think it's going to dry out later in the day on Saturday. There's a when there's a rain shadow from the Oahe Mountains where the air sinks into the valley. It's right here, and this is one of the it could be pouring in the valley. I remember going to Bruno Dunes and there's no rain falling at Bruno. That's why it's a desert down here. So sunny and uh, partly cloudy to sunny on Sunday and then mostly cloudy Monday, but temperatures in the 60s, not too bad, but it will be a little on the breezy side. So our warm front goes through tonight, bringing those temperatures up. We're going to shoot into the 80s tomorrow, 90s as this heat surges in ahead of our cold front, which will come in. So Thursday, we get 90s. Thursday night, the cold front comes through with a chance for some thunderstorms. This is the amount of moisture that one computer chart is is printing out through Monday. This is through the weekend. It starts Friday morning and the purple up here, that's an inch and a half of moisture. It may not be quite that much, but I think an inch of rain, that is a soaking rain. And that's what could happen in the West Central, and maybe even the East Central Mountains, especially up towards the Stanley area and in Valley County. In the Valley, we may see a quarter to a third of an inch of rain, mostly Saturday morning and again on Sunday morning. And it could even be rain there are parts of the valley that may be dry for a pocket, uh, a period of time on Saturday morning or to say Saturday afternoon, but there's a chance that it could continue or at least come back in the evening. Here's tomorrow. I mean, picture perfect. No wind, sunshine, warmer temperatures in the mid 80s, very light wind in the West Central Mountains, beautiful conditions. The Boise Mountains in the 70s, Garden Valley hits 81, Council 79, Riggins 82, and Long Valley sitting in the low 70s. Stanley Sun Valley, beautiful weather. High temperatures right around 71 in the Wood River Valley. So tomorrow, 84, we're peaking at 92 on Thursday, the hottest day since back in September 8th or so when we got into the 90s at 98. But look at the the temperatures come crashing down from 92 Thursday down to 62 on Sunday. That's a 30 degree temperature drop. The wettest time for Ada County in southwest Idaho will be Saturday morning, potentially Saturday evening, definitely Saturday night in the first half of Sunday. But there could be a dry period of time Saturday afternoon, but it is still going to be cool. It is going to be breezy and wet at times.